Oh, we are back, but Morgan's taking over in the background. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. 67 degrees. Shut up has left the building. Things will be quieter the second half hour. High temperatures today of 95. We do have 50% chance of rain today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day. Looks like it's going to rain for about a week straight. So if you need to do anything outside, find a time it's not raining. Hurry up and get it done. Temperatures are going to stick around the 70s. In for your lows, and of course, 90s for the high. And with the rain, it's going to feel hot, muggy. Welcome to summertime. It's not over yet. Welcome to August. Alan Johnson, owner of Allied uh, Foundations, and uh, also coming out already. We ain't got a commercial done yet, but uh, bug stomp. That's right. And y'all also spray for mosquitoes. That's right. It says they here in the front all. page the mosquito season is starting right now. It is the worstest. You heard they were bad last night. Worstest. You, you can use that word if you need to. Uh, this month and next month, uh -huh. and it says here, any little water can attract, stagnant water can attract mosquitoes. That's correct. Hmm. Now, how do y'all spray for them? Well, typically you spray once a month, but it really depends on the rain. Like, okay. if somebody was due, and, and let's say today you were due to get sprayed, but it rains all week, well, it's not going to do any good because it's going gonna, it's gonna to wash, wash it away. But... So this week's pretty much shot. This so you need to look good. around your house for any stagnant water like uh, Sta You do, and, and keep your grass mowed's a big thing. You know, you get tall grass, and typically mosquitoes can't get over 10 feet high, and they'll get, you know, under the leaves. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it did say in here that you need to spray your uh, uh, plants outside. Landscape. That's right. Oh, very good. But keeping your grass mowed's a big thing. People with tall grass. But you know, like out at the campsite, at the camper, I can spray my area, but it doesn't do any good because everybody else does the spray, so we still get ate up out there when we're out there. Hmm. So, you know. Not a whole lot so that's do one of the disadvantages of living in a camper. Yes, yeah, one of them. <laughs> That's one. There was a big difference. A list. Yeah. Let me set this story up. Alan is in the process of moving Lesson into a new up. house. So in the meantime, thanks for bringing. Is your up. wife still with you? I think so. <laughs> He's living in a camper, and he said that they said, you know, oh. there's a big difference in camping in a camper and living in a camper. It is. It's really not that ba bad. I mean, she probably wouldn't agree yeah. with that. But we stay at the campground nearly all summer anyway. And, and the kids, we don't spend three or four nights at home. So we thought, well, hey, we're going to be, it. it's going to be a month. We'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you, I, I, my clothes are just, you, you don't have a big selection. You, there's not a big selection. And you can't be claustrophobic. No. And the kids think it's great. <laughs> we're... We're moving. <laughs> I mean, they, they can Well, they, you can carry the camper to the house and they can stay in it. Yeah. I mean, I thought they would be all excited because, you know, now we got a pond, we got a place for the horses, we got all the stuff they've always wanted, and I thought they would be all excited, and they were like, well, what? Why do we have to move? We've got, we've got to leave the camper. <laughs> yeah. But they, they have season passes to Point Mallard, so they're used to being able to go over there all the time. And I guess that's where they stay all the time, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But we're going to leave the camper at Point Mallard, too, so. Yeah. It won't take long. Though. All right, let's talk about Allied Foundations. <laughs> you guys do, uh, what all do y'all do? We do waterproofing, mold, floor supports, uh, humidity control. This year, humidity control has been, I guess, probably one of the biggest things. What exactly is that? Well... In, in the past, you got a little bit? Yeah. Okay. In the past, <laughs> people, you know, our codes say that you need vents in your home to get airflow. Well, the, one of the reasons we're in business is because of that, the, that particular code from way back in the day because mold starts growing at 60%. Well, today, our humidity is going to be 85 or 90. So why does it make sense wow. to bring, bring in more 85 and 90% humidity underneath your house? to give mold an opportunity to grow. Also, you get 85, 90 degree air hitting your cold ducts, it's gonna condensate, so it creates a problem. Creates the moisture. Yeah. So y'all can fix that. Yes. And you go, hmm. if you can see me, hear me, or even think about me, he can Allied can you. be there. And y'all go all the way, you did some work in Mentone, Mentone. didn't you? Yeah. We'll go to Mentone quite Go where you need, or where you're okay. needed. Yeah. 
so. They ain't, I hate to tell you this, Alan, but they ain't hearing about you on this show in Minton. You don't think so? Unless they're watching me on. No, wait well, a minute. Well, I shouldn't say that. Got Correct. Call the guy in Fort Payne. That's right. He'll be joining us on the show from yeah, Fort Payne. He Bain. watches he on watches YouTube, YouTube everybody. Follows on yeah. YouTube. Oh, so, I mean, so. that internet thing never make it. I don't know. <laughs> no. 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 no they, they don't know what they're doing. crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure are. So, Al, y'all can go and fix up now. If somebody calls you, is there a back? How long you know, does it take? take? A couple days to get, days to get scheduled? We can usually come the same week. Okay. When we're usually a, a week or so out, or two weeks, you know, as far as doing the work. And you get up under the house. Now, you have a way with your iPad of showing people, basically, this is what underneath your house looks like. Yeah, most people I, ain't going I'll take that. the pictures and send them to my iPad. The customer can see, even while I'm under the house, what, what we're looking at. And, well, that's uh, unique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you so want that way they know it. you're not fabricating, or some people may get up yeah. under there, some jack leg, and fabricate something going on on the house. Well, and, and, you know, other companies may go and just try to sell them everything that they offer, you know, and we try to offer you what you need, what, what it's going to take to fix the issues that you have, you know, and uh, provide an affordable way, solution. affordable solution for mm -hmm. foundation repair, mold, waterproof, whatever we're doing. Now you also can fix cracks and stuff um, in the like something around swimming pools or sidewalks and stuff, can't we you? We can. Concrete. We do any, any type of concrete settlement, um, cracked brick, foundations, anything like that we can 